Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Tyranno Senpai. Welcome to another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. Bit of a recap. Recap time. So we got Yamabuki into the Ninja Seeking Club under the condition that she makes cosplay costumes for everyone in the group. And apparently she wants me and Johnny to wear a maid outfit of all things. Blech. Anyway, we agreed to it, unfortunately. And uh, we tried asking Enju, but she's been kind of harsh. And uh, it looks like Akari might be taking, taking it pretty hard. So, without further ado, let's see where the store takes us next. Also, I figured out, um, I haven't really been slipping up. It turns out, like, there are some choices you make. It doesn't matter what you choose. It's just going to be normal ending or whatever. So... I didn't really screw up, it's just the game being stupid. Anyway, let's move on. Season 1, Chapter 8, Pieces of a Puzzle. The cherry blossom is gone. It's Monday, the start of a new week. Morning. Morning. Oh no. I'm pretty much shaken up by seeing such an unbelievably gloomy looking Akari. Are you still thinking about what happened last week? I want to cheer up. If she doesn't, I'm going to be out of form too. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I watched a video on this. I know exactly what to choose. I'll treat you to lunch. Yeah, I got a cheat sheet. Suck it. Um, let's see. How about I buy you lunch today? I'm talking about food. I'll treat you to the most expensive meal at the cafeteria. You can have seconds too, and you can add it... <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. And you can add in any side you want. Um, and then, yes, you can supersize it too. Raj, and supersizing a meal is not the way to cheer up a girl, you know. Um, sorry, I didn't think of anything else. But you were really trying to cheer me up, huh? Thank you. Well, you know. <laughs> Just then I was starting to think of Don Knotts whenever he said, Well, you know. Cheer up a bit. If the manager's like that, everyone's thrown off their game. You're right. Yeah. The car's expression doesn't change, though. I want to cheer up, but no matter how hard I try, I just can't. Oh no! Is this just gonna be the most heartbreaking episode ever? In this season? God! We're not even close to the end of this game at all. It's just barely started. I see. I'm sorry, I want to think about it a bit myself. By myself. A car gives a weak smile and runs off to the school. Oh, oh no. I guess she does need time. I get it, but. Hey, Roger, what's up with Akari? Is Akari said by okay? I'm worried about Akari. I'm tapping. All the members of this Ninja Seeking Club are worried about Akari in their own way. Isn't there anything we can do? Let me see. I don't know what we can do, but if Akari stays like this, I have to say that it is the end of the Ninja Seeking Club. What? No, we haven't found any ninjas yet. <coughs> <coughs> I have been holding that in for I don't know how long. Johnny Senpai. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. <sighs> But you can't start the Ninja Seeking Club by yourself, Spicer. A guy comes up with the idea. Spicer lives up the situation and Raijin manages everyone. Then Rika tags along and Mew gets sucked in. Yamabuki teases everyone for fun and Enju is the one to get angry. This wonderful balance made the Ninja Seeking Club possible. But now the first one to bring this up is missing. We're getting close. Guys, I have a I have a pretty good feeling 
if not this episode, we might be able to reach the goal to get that sweet ending with Akari. I, I'm willing to bet next episode, it's going to happen. So, now, what do you intend to do as Vice Manager, Raijin? Only one thing to do. You're going to cheer Akari up. Right, bro? Why are you answering in my place? Then say something. Senpai, Raijin, what are you going to do? All eyes are on me. Well then. So let's start a strategy meeting. Oh, yart. Yay. Y yay. You, you don't have to force yourself to be pumped like the rest of them. Well, come on, Raijin. At times like this, everyone's got to pump it up. Yes, she's right, Raijin. There's no point in moping around. Is that right? And so, yay! Yeehaw! Yeah, yay. <laughs> I just like her derp face. Hey, if you if you don't have if you don't have it in you, it is okay. After pulling myself together, I'll clear my throat and start over. So now the subject is how to cheer up a car. Does anyone have any good ideas? You are leaving all the responsibilities to us. Can't help it. I've never really put serious thought to cheer up anyone. I'm good at finishing people off, though. That's dealing with things physically. What do you think we should do? Of course, girls like gifts, presents. Completely stuttered over my words. Johnny, you just think you can get away with girls if you buy them something, don't you? Won't that work? But in the games I play, let's separate 2D from reality. Unfortunately, there's no love meter in the real word world. You can't check the storyline beforehand either. Um, yeah. You do realize you're kind of contradicting yourself as a video game character who's literally doing that. Well, the present idea might work. Let's go ahead and put it in the minutes. <laughs> what about you, Yamabuki? Me? If I get a present, I feel a whole lot better. Um, you might want to rewind the story to seven lines earlier and check out the comment you made to Johnny about giving a girl a present. Well then, for real, what about inviting her to a place where she can relax or something? Something like an amusement park or a theme park? If she can play around, she'll feel better, right? I see. Relaxation. But it would be difficult to go out on a weekday. Okay. Next part. Are there any other ideas? Animals make you feel better. Hmm, animals, huh? Like a rabbit. Oh yeah, bunny. Well, he definitely got excited at the breeding house. Speaking of bunnies. Hmm, what? Tenge looks like she's going to say something. We can count on her. I'm pretty sure she has a great idea. Speaking of bunnies. Speaking of bunnies. Bunny girls. Oh my god. Tenge. Are you fucking serious? You, My bad, it was my mistake to expect anything from you. What do you mean? You said bunnies, I say bunny girls. They'd make every anyone happy. Only guys would be happy to see them. Yeah, that's uh, fan service in a nutshell. That's not true at all. Everyone would be happy and we'll get a standing ovation from the gentleman. Wink. Ahem. By empathizing... Emphasizing the standing part, you mean... <laughs> she means we'll all get hard, like a wreck. Hey, shut up, don't say anything more. Yeah, dude, shut the fuck up. If it keeps going, this will go R-rated. You keep grumbling about other people's ideas. But what about you, Raijin? Me? I... Ooh, dang, I can't think of anything. Food. Oh? Eh? What's that? Together. Why can't you form perfect sentences, Rika? Look, don't just say one word at a time. Elaborate. He literally just summed up what I just said. Uh, I get it. You got this saying in Japan, right? I'm just not realizing I sound like Peter Griffin there for a bit. Eating from the same pot, you mean? Yes, let's dig up a pot. Dig here. Bow wow. Ooh. Uh huh. 
You understand that? You understood that. Certainly, eating a meal together might be a good idea. That was how Rika and I met, that made peace with each other. Why can't I read? Is that why she opened up to me then? That's it. Well, definitely good food is a source of energy. You're so simple-minded. Well, it's better than doing nothing, though. If it gets your feelings across. Oh, yes, let's cheer Akari up with some good food. Food! Okay, moving on. Well then, what do we do for food? Eating together in the cafeteria isn't any different from usual. Good point. Then what about eating out? Is that allowed? As long as we get back during lunch break, it'll be fine. Also, I know a good place. Tenge seems to look sideways at me. Oh, stop showing off your breasts. It's a bit of an expensive place. If you pay for us, you might look cool, you know. Are you asking me to treat you guys? Why not? You're not losing anything, are you? No, I'll lose something. I'll definitely lose money. Don't think you can lure me in with a peek down your shirt. Eating out's dull. No spirit of youth. That's not what I came for. When I'm about to die and think back to my younger days, I have to have memories of something homemade from a girl. Yes, whether it's a birthday present or Valentine's chocolate. Something homemade by a pretty girl, nothing can beat that. Ah, these things where the girl mixes in her blood and hair and whatever, yeah? Yeah, yeah, to cast the hex, you need- No, I'm not into crazy Yana dear girls. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty sick. No, I'm talking about the real world. You hear it all the time among girls, you know. Girls always like love spells. Whatever it is, please stop talking about it. I won't be able to eat anything a girl makes anymore. Let's set aside mixing stuff in. Don't do it, though absolutely do not do it. And now that I've made that clear, we have two ideas. With these, we can... Wait, wait. We still haven't heard your idea, Raijin. No, don't mind me. That won't work. Everyone wants to know what the vice manager thinks, so let's hear it. Hmm, my opinion, huh? Mm-hmm, chief seat. Something homemade will express our feelings. Have you been listening, Raijin? You've got no sense of self-preservation as ever. No, like I said, don't mix anything in it. Just something normally homemade. Sure, whatever. The problem is, can you cook, Raijin? Hmm, not very well. Neither can I, honestly. I'm learning how to cook, but there's really not much I can do right now. <coughs> right now? What the hell just happened to me? Imagine, you're never gonna make it with girls like that. These days, chicks love a guy who can... Hey, then what about you? Whoa. Woo! Don't look away. Don't whistle. Especially when you're not so good at it. Hypocrite. Um, hmm? What is it? Could, could I try making an obento? A bunch lunch? A bunch lunch? Box lunch? I cannot speak! What's the matter with me? I don't have many friends because I'm shy. So when Akari Senpai invited me, I was really happy. So if Akari Senpai is in trouble. Oh yeah, forgot to mention y'all. Looks like we'll be catering to Mew in the second season. I put a poll up on Instagram, she swept, and I could probably s go on the record and say it's because of her boobs, isn't it? Isn't it? You guys just are perverted and sick. If I can help her, I want to do anything I can. I think I, I can be useful. I'm actually... <laughs> I, I just don't know what happened. I just... Decided to shift conversation. I glanced at the others. Obviously, there are no objections. John has given me the thumbs up to me. I can see how he feels, but the credit goes to Mew. It really does. Ooh, we're getting closer! Now, we only got one more choice we gotta make in this, I think. Oh, damn it. So. Oh, we're good. Check me. Yeah, because the last time we did this, the episode was over half an hour long. Good God, that was terrible.
All right, go for it. Sure, leave it to me. Good job, Mew. I can feel your good vibe. I guess we're all going to be in the circle eating lunch, right? We should find a big open space. In that case, the rooftop would be best, wouldn't it? Huh? Is the rooftop open to students? Uh, wasn't it open, Rika? Remaining silent. In other words, no, it's not. So long as no one finds out, there is no problem. Says literally every criminal on the planet. I can see a problem. Well then, we solved the problem off of the location. It's not solved! Hmm? Hey, wait. Making enough for everyone is going to be a lot of work. Can you handle it by yourself? I can do it. Count on me. Great! I'm so looking forward to it. I'll take care of partying it up. <coughs> nice. Everyone in the Ninja Seed Club is all fired up. All right. I wish Akari could see this. Look, Akari. There are all these people who care about you. Don't stay depressed. Hurry and come back as the Akari we know. Akari really is being loved. But Akari isn't the only one who's depressed. I should butt in a little on the other side, too. Ha! Huh. Hello, hello. Tenge, what are you doing here at this hour? Students without a special reason should go home. Serious as ever, I see. A string too tight will break easily, you know. Mind your own business. Let's talk just a little. You really are serious, as expected. Unubi's most obedient servant. Don't say that name in front of people. Do you know what you're saying? You should know better, right? There's no... Mm, there's no one within hearing distance. In other words, we can talk about secrets all we want. For instance, stop it. Did you come here to provoke me? If you don't have anything to say, I'm going. You're always like this, overreacting. You're like a scared rabbit. More like a scared bitch. Alright, let's move on. You are just afraid of being exposed of your true identity. You should practice to be good at lying with a smile. Otherwise, you'll always be second rate. No, third rate. What do you know about me? I... I... <laughs> What's so funny? Giggle, you're so honest, Enju. But it won't work. It won't work like that. You're just not made for it. For what? We don't have much time to spend at school. For the time we have to spend as ordinary students, try to spend it without any regret regrets. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is this alluding to something I feel like at ordinary students? Is she a ninja too? And she's trying to hide it? I don't know. I guess we'll see. And so, where are you going? Well, of course, I am an honest and upright student, aren't I? I'm going home. See you later. Bye, con Dios, bitch. Lunch break the next day. Akari. Yes. Akari's still down. What are you going to do for lunch today? <laughs> um, I haven't thought about it. What should I do? No plan, huh? That works out just fine. Come on. Here. I take Akari by the arm. She doesn't know what is going on, but I can drag her out of the classroom. Ten game, you are already waiting. My job is to bring Akari to the party. Eh, what? Where are we going? Isn't it obvious? Lunch! Yes! Lunch! Before Newt, John lines up next to us. We couldn't do anything for you yesterday. Now everyone's waiting for you. Take me, son. Mew? I'm here for you, Akari. And Mew, too. Right. Mew unwraps a square cloth sitting on the rooftop floor. It's a large lunchbox. Yay, I said it! Right. This is... Yes, I made it. You made all this, Mew? Yes, I thought it would be nice if everyone could eat together, and anyway, please enjoy it. Mew opens the lid to the lunchbox. Inside are a variety of delicious looking side dishes of all colors. Yes, I want to proceed. My, amazing, you really worked hard, didn't you? Yes. Awesome, but aren't there too many rolled eggs? Ah, that. I didn't know if anyone likes sweet ones or salty ones. I thought I should prepare two kinds. I made a lot of other things. 
I didn't know what would be good a good dish, and so I kept on adding more. That's why it's such a big lunchbox. Five layers. It's no problem. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate a growing boy, right, Johnny? Yes, I'm like starving. Well, Johnny, did you bring the chopsticks and paper plates? What's that? Hey, were, you were in charge of plates and utensils, right? I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I got them right here, see? Well then, let's all sit down, Yamabuki. Spread out the lunchbox. Righto. Akari too, come on. Tenge invites her with a gentle smile. But why? Don't worry about it, let's eat. Lunch break is going to be over. Yes, I've been so looking forward to this that I skipped breakfast. Why would you do that? Akari, pick up your chopsticks. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Well then, let's eat. Itadaki Musu. Itadaki Musu. Oh, this is delicious. What is this, sushi? Ah, yes, it's a sushi roll. You said you wanted to eat it, Johnny Senpai. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My turn. Ah, I'll have the rolled egg. It's like the sweet... I like the sweet kind. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's this one. Hmm. This dish is very good. Mew, are you ready to get married anytime? time? What? Hey, you too, Akari. It's homemade by your koai, you know. If there's something you want to eat, I'll get it for you. It's fine, I'll get it myself. Akari take, first takes a piece of rolled egg with her chopsticks, and then she uncertainly puts it in her mouth. It's delicious. As soon as she says it, tears roll down from Akari's face. It's yummy, it's so yummy. Really? There's plenty. So eat as much as you want. I hope it cheers you up. Yeah. Aww. She happy! Alright, last part of this episode. And then we're done for the day. Well, you're gonna be on edge if you're hungry, right? Eating good food and sleeping is essential to keep up high spirit. That's what I do to survive the inferno. I'm touching. You should do something before the situation gets out of hand. Feh, you are making a right argument while you're still crying. Come on, come, come. You shouldn't cry so easily. Tenge gently offers a handkerchief. Tears are a woman's weapon. You do not show them until the right time. Thank you, Tenge san. Hey, Kari, you know, I've been wanting to thank you. When I said I saw a ninja, nobody believed me, right? Did I turn into a snake? But only you did, Akari. You listen to me without laughing at me. Akari, you are my... Akari, Light of Hope? Oh, I guess Akari is not just a Japanese name, but also an actual... word? I don't know Japanese, okay? John, is that supposed to be a pun? You figured it out? Akari eats Mew's lunch. Trying and saying over and over again how good it is. It looks like you're feeling a little better. Now it's my turn. I'm about to say I'm going to eat when Akari comes up next to me. Rajin! Hmm? What? Thank you. You came up with this, didn't you, Rajin? It wasn't me, it was everyone. I see. Is the lunch good? Yeah. An energetic answer and a smile. We did accomplish that much of our goal of the day. Akari's feeling a little better, but now that's enough. Oh, cheat sheet. I was worried. And then, well, just a little. I was worried about you after all. Oh, my heart is melting. My heart is melting. When I come out and say that, I suddenly get embarrassed, so I turn to Akari and talk to her in rapid succession. Listen, what I just said, yeah, there might have been some tent some sense to it. I try to try to speak rapidly, but I slipped over my tongue. But you can't let it pull you down for forever. That sort of thing just isn't like you. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, thank you. Then everything's cool. After that, it just gets boisterous. Tenge, Yambuki, you're teasing John, who make, who's making a ruckus like an idiot. Mew is a little more excited than usual, and Rika is just being her own self like any other day. And a cheery, laughing Akari. 
Raijin, hmm? The lunch was good. Great. Yes, this is much better in the end, even though I always wanted the quiet life. Having it this noise is actually fun. Oh, help me, Raijin. My throat's caught something in my throat. I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy for you, Agari. Shit, excuse me. You're ignoring me? Yes, I am. All right. Next episode preview. Here we go. It's the next episode preview time. Yes, it's your regular bookie and... A card fully restored. We will present the next episode. Uh, when you were depressed, Akari, I didn't know what I should do. I feel bad about that. It's fine, it's fine. It's over. Thank goodness. Besides, now you're all back to normal. Yeah, but still, and you. That's that. Something to look forward to in the next chapter. And so, let me sum up the next episode for you. Yesterday at night, you lost a friend and drowned in a rain of tears. Today at noon, you took kindness as bait and chased after what was lost. Tomorrow morning, with a restored spirit, you will see something precious with your own eyes. I don't know riddles! What is it that needs to be taken back? Chapter 9, Candles Lit. I'll do my best. I don't want to stay like this. The day after tomorrow is there hope for a future you can haul in. I hope so. <gasps> yep, yep. Next episode, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's official. Next episode, we will have reached the goal. And with only two more episodes to spare of this season. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it here for today. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification button so you don't miss anything new. And until next time, this is Tyranno Senpai signing off. Alrighty then. Take care now. Bye-bye then.